Hi guys, welcome back. This is my fifth and hopefully final ITB build video. So today I'm hoping to finish the fuel rail. I need to fabricate it slightly, modify it, make it work. Uh, once that's done, I'm hoping I can make the silicon joiners up, connect it all up and try and make it run. I know it's on standard, standard management, but I'm just gonna see if it starts up and have a bit of a play just purely because I want to hear what it sounds like. That's all. So that's the plan for today. So as I mentioned in my last video, the fuel rail fouls the header tank and my fuel hoses are not long enough. I don't really want to modify the fuel hoses on the course because I've, I've kind of sold the car, if I'm honest, and I've sold it with the Amiga inlet. So I don't really want to um, mess around with it too much. So the plan is I'm going to basically cut the fuel rail. This can be fitted either way and make these takeoffs come out straight. So they're going to be parallel with the existing pipe work. So I'm going to cut and weld it back up. That's my plan for today. I'm hoping if I do that, it should all fit nicely. And I can't see any reason why it wouldn't. So stay tuned. Mask on. Now I need to make this piece fit this going straight. One bit done, one left to go. Very annoyingly, we have a problem. Problem number one, fuel rail is leaking slightly. I think I can sort that, no problem. Problem number two is I cannot get the injector plug on because of these. So unfortunately, I'm going to cut all them off, which is a bit of a shame, but such is life. How to ruin a bloody lovely inlet. <laughs> Never mind. Adapt and overcome, as I say. So I'll, I'm just going to try it. And then if it all works, I will rub it all down, grind all these bits down, make it nice and smooth, repaint it. I've also discovered this paint is not petrol proof. However, the primer I've used is, so I'm going to paint it again in a petrol proof paint. As you can see, it's running. I am relatively happy with them. Uh, to make the most of them, it will need standalone management, but that's not, not my plan. All I want to do is build them, document it for you guys. And I think I'm just going to put them on eBay, if I'm honest. But So yeah, I need to clean up the inlet manifold because obviously I've cut the runner dividers off so I'm going to grind it all back down paint it again with some petrol proof paint so yeah I'll upload another video soon with a cost breakdown and show you what I've used where I've got them from so you can do it yourself thank you